Sweep. Pass. I tested the flexi arm design of the QRevo Slim like I did in the past with the Roborock S8, Max V Ultra, and the QRevo Curve using my certified test dust. My findings are that it performs a bit better compared to the S8 Max V Ultra design, but it has still the same problems regarding suboptimal and non cleaned areas due to similar design flaws. Comparing the cleaning results of the first and the second cleaning run showcases the issue, it looks like there are still unmoved particle patterns even after two cleaning runs, especially at the right sided area near the edge. It becomes even more obvious if they have a closer look at the third cleaning run using some slow motion footage. Running the robot again with mopping enabled offers a better cleaning performance and it looks like it overcomes the issues of the flexi-arm side brush mechanism. But it also reveals that the side brush and mopping does nothing regarding fine dust removal in corners, also it looks like there is a coverage problem with the extending mop since we have some leftovers within the mopping area. The investigation of this potential issue is something for another video. As stated earlier we encounter a similar design issue like the S8 Max V Ultra has. The side brush arms are not making well enough contact to the surface while the arm is extracted. This is because the side brush arm gets lifted while it is extracted leading to sometimes barely surface tipping side brush arms. While moving under the body of the robot the side brush arms are also just floating through the air not making contact to the ground anymore. This is pretty much the same design the S8 Max V Ultra is using. A more in-depth video about this is linked in the description. It looks like the earlier extraction of the flexi arm similar to how the QRevo curve is doing eliminates the stalling issue, or the side brush arm is not lifted as high compared to the S8 so the angle is a bit different. Detailed videos about the flexi arm design of the QRevo Curve and the S8 Max V Ultra are linked in the description. Upcoming are some corner detection runs between the QRevo Slim, the Curve, the S8 Max V Ultra, and the Dream X40, showcasing the better detection of the curve regarding difficult corners. This is due to the better front sensoring for corner detection of the curve with a sensor setup you usually only find among D shaped robots. Thanks for watching. Bye.